Okay, here's a final example for motion in a vertical circle. And now for this one, instead of um, instead of my telling you what the um, what the centripetal acceleration is and all this stuff, right? Okay, what I'm actually going to do in this one is I'm actually telling you that there's a force acting on this thing, right? There's a force on the thing. It's a downward force at the top, and we don't know the velocity of this, but I bet we can figure it out from there, right? So, um, and then these questions kind of lead us in the direction we want to go. So let's just look at this. Here's this object, right? We know that there's a force, a downward force on this thing, right? And that downward force is 5.02 newtons, right? That's not the only force, though. There's also the force of gravity on this thing, right? So the weight is going to be 1.15 times 9.81. And that is 1.15 times 9.81, 11.2815, right? Right, so that's the force of gravity acting down on this thing, right? That's another force acting on it, right? That's a bigger force. I'll draw that guy like twice as long, right? So we've got 11.2815 newtons. These are both downward, the, 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 the rod or whatever is exerting a downward force, so that's a negative force, right? And then gravity, of course, is always down. Okay, so in this case, we actually are going to start this with our F equals MA. We're not going to go there afterwards. We're going to start with that, right? So now um, at the top, and that's where we can bust it open, right? At the top, we know all the forces. We know the force that the string or the rod or whatever is exerting. We also know the force of gravity, and those are all the forces, right? So we go minus 5.02, minus 11.2815, and those are all the forces, and then that equals uh, 1.15, okay, times uh, the acceleration, and that's what we don't know is the acceleration, right? So we can find our acceleration. So I'm going to go uh, uh, minus 5.02, minus 11.2815, Okay, divided by 1.15. And I get negative, I get the acceleration is negative 14.175, I'll just say, right? We have three sig figs here. Here we got five sig figs. That would be ample, right? And that's meters per second squared. Okay, with three sig figs, I guess we'd have to say minus 14.2. Actually, you, you for the centripetal acceleration, you'd give a positive number. Because what would a negative centripetal acceleration mean? I don't know. Okay, so that would be that would be the answer to A, right? Okay, and then we can figure out the speed. Um, hmm. For the speed, I guess we would use. Uh, let's figure that out, right? I think we're just going to use this guy, right? A is v squared over r. So v is the square root of AR, right? So that's going to be the square root of 14.175 times our radius is 3.78, right? Okay. That is, by the way, uh, R. Okay. So that is um, that uh, times. Now I'm going to square root that, and I'm getting 7.31999, right? So the velocity is 7.312. Uh, we only have three sig figs, so I guess 7.32, right? Ta -da. That's our tangential velocity, 7.32. And then uh, what force does the rod exert at the bottom? Well, at the bottom, okay? The forces are unknown force. We know it's going to be up, right? Minus the force of gravity. Same thing here, right? 11.2815. Okay. So gravity, remember, gravity is just down. It's down. It's the same amount, right? Uh, this force is the unknown force, which will be the, an upward force, I'm sure, right? And then I'm going to use, I'm going to say it's equal to m times a. I'm just using f equals ma here. Here are all the forces, right? And then that equals 1.15 times, and then I'm going to use this acceleration here only at the bottom, 
right? You're actually accelerating toward the middle, right? So here you are, your velocity is that way, right? At the top, you're accelerating down. At the bottom, you're accelerating up. So it's positive 14.175, right? So 1.15 times 14.175. Uh, plus 11.2815, and I get 27.58, right? F equals 27.58, so I guess that's 27.6, is that right? Uh, the fact that it's positive is that it's upward, right? Ta-da.